What is going on guys? Get you 230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5. And today, as you can see here, we have got a beautiful Lamborghini Aventador. But there's one thing about it that uh, quite isn't right yet. And uh, you know what that is? Take a look at it. Take a look. You'll notice that it's really, really low to the ground, which, okay, usually is how Lambo should be. But today, that's not exactly what we want. Today, we are going to be doing a custom Lamborghini build that allows us to modify the suspension in any way we want it. We can lower it, we can lift it, even up to like two feet or three feet. It's absolutely insane just how high you can lift this thing. But uh, real quick, let's drive it on the road real quick, or on the, uh, the path here, and you'll notice that, uh, ooh... You hear a little bit of occasional scraping, and you notice that it bottoms out on a lot of these, uh, a lot of these bumps. Like, take a look at this here. Oh my goodness. Our wheels are not even touching on, uh, the rear right side, just because we bottomed out underneath. So, this is a really cool mod. We're gonna jack this thing up, install a lift kit on it, essentially, and have a lot of fun with an off-road Aventador. So, uh, real quick, guys, uh, first thing is drop a like down below if you enjoy the live stream and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let me know if you happen to do either of those in the chat below. I'm going to be shouting you guys out all stream long for those of you who like and those of you who subscribe. And the final thing that I want to point out, guys, is this is my first 1080p stream. Oh, finally streaming in 1080p. Very glad to be doing it. Uh, it took a long time to get set up. Well, I mean, setting it up was actually pretty quick, but it was a long time in the making. I talked about going 1080p but didn't for quite a few months, but uh, here we are now in full HD. Hopefully it's looking pretty good. Let me know in the chat here if there's any issues with the rendering or anything like that. Alright guys, so with that all out of the way here, why don't we get started, and what a good place to do it, because check this out. Once again, here's my Lambo bottoming out. Bottoming out on even more dirt, so we're going to get this lift going. Uh, here's the suspension mod. Oh, and real quick, real quick, real quick, I gotta make it so I can see what you guys are saying to me here in the live stream chat. I gotta make it so I can see what you people are saying to me. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the stream. We've got Ray, Sammy, Steve, Gaming, Eric, Bethany, Top 10, Awesome, John Yell, Steve, Brent, Melissa. Guys, welcome to the stream. Thank you all for dropping those likes down below. Very much appreciated. Uh, thank you, thank you for tuning in. So let's get right into it, guys. So this is a really, really, really cool new mod that works on any vehicle in Grand Theft Auto V. And so today, like I said, we are lifting an Aventador. So we're going to go to the suspension menu here. And you can see that we can edit the front camber, which is really cool because you can. Uh, it allows you to stance some vehicles. You can see here that front tire leaning in. But we are not going to be stancing the Aventador. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not lowering it even. Here's what we're going to do. Check out this front tire. You ready to see this bad boy start to lift up? We're going to start out small, maybe with like a 3-ish inch lift, but here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that front end is getting higher. That front end is definitely getting taller. Here we are on 0.77 in the front. So let's go to the rear height. You can see that we're at negative 0.61. We're going to bounce that baby up to also the same as the front, 0.77. And now this is just a very small lift. Just to give you guys a sneak peek of what this mod is capable of, let me, this isn't going to be how we drive, but I want you guys to know what this mod is capable of, okay? Okay, when you talk about lifting a vehicle, this mod, ooh, yeah, it starts glitching out when it gets too high. It starts glitching out when you put it too high. But the point is, you can give these things multi-foot lifts, which is really cool about it. In my opinion, it makes it a lot of fun. You can lower big trucks, uh, adjust the stance, the camber, all that good stuff. So here we are with a, ooh, a, a pretty big lift. Did we accidentally make it a little taller in the front than the back? Let me double check that. Suspension menu, uh, front height, negative 0.86, rear, okay, yeah, the front's a little taller. Let's uh, even that out there. And the other thing we want to do is, uh, you'll notice we still have the street tires on this thing. Now, believe it or not, off-road tires in GTA 5 do actually make a difference. So we're going to go down to uh, vehicle options here. We're going to go on to mod menu, and let's change the wheel type to off-road. Off-road, off-road, there it is. And let's slap some off-road tires on here. Unfortunately, they're a little small. Honestly, I would like to give it some bigger tires. I think it would look really nice. But one of the weird limitations of GTA 5, even in modding, is kind of tire size to an extent. You don't see a lot of edited tire sizes in mods. Uh, I don't know what it requires from a modding perspective, but it must not be easy to do. Oh, and one final thing, one final thing that we've got to do. I'm looking at this, this uh, Lambo here, and it's... Something's not quite looking right. Let's go to the front track width and make these tires a little wider. So take a look at these, uh, these front tires up here. Check it out. You ready? Boom, baby. Let's widen the stance just a little bit because, you know, we're raising our center of gravity. We're going to compensate for that a little bit by uh, making our wheelbase a little wider. 
check that out. So in front, we'll do 0.95 for both. 0.97 might be a bit much. Oh my goodness, that looks sick! That looks so sick! Look at that wide stance, the off-road tires, the gap, the lift. Oh my goodness. So let's test this thing out real quick. We're going to give it a little test run, and then uh, what I suspect we'll do throughout the stream is uh, lift it up a little higher until we've got it at like a one-foot lift and then maybe a two-foot lift, and as we put it higher and higher, it tends to get more and more crazy. Ooh, absolutely had like zero traction there. Let me turn this volume down just a little bit. Oh, let's turn it down a little bit. Yo, Shane, thanks for dropping that like down below, my dude. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Everybody just tuning in here. We are driving our lifted off-road Lambo. Ooh! Oh, jeez! Once again, the traction is absolute garbage. Maybe I was just going a little too fast, but I didn't feel like I was going that fast. Guys, uh, let me know in the chat here. When, uh, what do you think we should do with the lift? Should we drive it around like this for a little bit, or do you guys want to see it lifted a little higher? Let me know. Higher, lower, same. Tell me in the chat here. Tell me in the chat. I'm uh, looking to see what you guys are saying. Stanced. Here's my idea for a stance. What we're probably going to do for stancing and adjusting the camber of a vehicle is we're probably going to stance something that either shouldn't be stanced, like a dump truck or a, um, you know, a school bus, something ridiculous like that. Or maybe we'll stance something like a Miata or a, you know, an actual street car that should be stanced. We'll, we'll experiment a little bit. This mod is going to open up a lot of fun video opportunities, though, that I think you guys are going to really enjoy watching, and hopefully something that I will enjoy doing. Um, all right, so I'm looking at the chat here, and you guys are saying uh, pump it up a little higher. All right, all right, all right. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's make this bad boy a little taller. Let me get to some flat ground here. This looks pretty flat. All right, so you guys want to see the Lambo a little taller, a little, a little higher, a little more, you know, closer to the sky here. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's fix up the Lambo, and now here's here's where it gets good. Here's where it gets good. All right, the the control that we have over this may start to go down as it gets taller. Obviously, we're gonna roll more easily, but it's gonna look pretty sick. So here we go. Here we go. Front height. Let's pump it up a little bit. Let's pump it up a little bit. Oh, oh, that was the width. That was the width. I'm looking at this. I'm like, why isn't it getting taller? I was just making the tires wider. That was weird. Okay, front height. That looks better, doesn't it? All right, let's make it a little taller here now. It does not take much. Okay, let's see what 0.95 looks like for both. The rear is still sitting at negative 0.77. Let's take it down to a negative 0.95. This lift is starting to get insane. We could definitely give a little more height to it as a... Uh, ooh, rock climbing, yes. <laughs> I'm easily distracted. Bethany here in the chat said do some rock climbing. That's a great idea. I know exactly where we can go for some giant boulders. Uh, we'll do some good rock climbing here in just a few minutes, guys. Rock climbing is on the way. Um, oh, oh, oh! See, that's that high center of gravity that I was talking about. Usually, we would never turn or, you know, roll over on a turn like that, but, you know, every, uh, every inch that we put it up... Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this thing rolls so easily! My lord, what? What? Okay, apparently we're going down the hill now. Apparently, we might be stuck here, boys. No, we're not. We're good, we're good. We're golden. Okay, just get me down this path here. Get me down this path. Alright, so what do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see? Let me know in the chat here once again. Do you want to see a little bit of mudding, a little bit of rock crawling, a little bit of hill climbing? Uh, let me know. Let me know. Oh my gosh. Alright, so here's the first thing we're going to do. Here's the first thing we're going to do. Alright? Alright. <laughs> here's what I'm thinking. We're going to teleport over to the beach here. Let's teleport over to the beach because guess what? You know what's over here? You know what's over here? I know what's over here. Oh, I do. I do, I do. Take a look! We've got a lot of nice rock crawl sections here. And uh, so we're going to get right into these. Quick reminder, though, for those of you just tuning into my channel for the first time, you've never been to a stream before, you've never even seen my face before, if you're enjoying the stream, subscribe down below. Let me know in the chat if you do. I'd love to give you a personal welcome to the family. Uh, all right, you guys are saying mudding and stuff like that. All right. We're going to do a quick rock crawl first, so here we are. <laughs> this thing looks so sick. I don't know what it is. I love the look of a lifted Lambo. Like I said, the tires need to be a little bigger, admittedly, but that's just not something that we can do. Uh, all right. All right. So, wow. Oh, my goodness. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, okay, okay. Having a little bit of trouble now. 
We're gonna lift it up even higher in a second, guys. We're gonna lift it up even higher, alright? Basically, like I said, from here to the end of the stream, by the end of it, or at least in however many minutes it takes, we're gonna have this thing super lifted. Super jacked up. Ooh, you can see that, uh, yeah, the, the center of gravity definitely is affected. Let's try just taking a, a quick little turn here and see what happens. Are we gonna roll over if we, uh, if we turn it too quickly? Not on the beach. On the beach, it's... Oh, no! On the beach, it's fairly stable, probably because we've got a lot of slide action going. Um, not a ton of traction. Yo, Byron, thank you for subbing, dude. Welcome to the family. The Sniper King, welcome to the family, my man. Thank you guys for subbing. Savage970, you as well. Deuce Jens, welcome to the stream. David Vasquez, you as well. Janara, welcome back to the stream, dude. Of course I remember you. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's uh, let's do a true rock climbing build here. You want to see the super lift? We're p we're probably gonna lower it down for the mud, but for the rock climbing, let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it up. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Let me get rid of this wanted level before it uh, ruins our good time here. Wanted down. Okay, back to the suspension menu. Okay, so front height. We've got sitting at a... Oh my goodness, this is getting absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Negative 1.15. Okay, so let's make the back match the front. Let's jack up the back. Here we go. Alright, so there we have negative 1.15 in the front and the back. I don't know what those numbers actually mean. I think it's just for the mod. It, that doesn't mean, like... It doesn't convert to inches or anything. Um... Wow! This thing actually doesn't look that bad. Ooh. That part was bad. That part was bad. Like, I keep saying, the only thing I'd really like to change at this point is to give it some, uh, some bigger tires. Besides the small tires, I think it looks really mean, actually. Let's see if we turn over, though, now. Let's see if we turn over. Wow. Still not really turning. Not really turning at all. All right, so let's uh, let's drive it over to the rock crawl now, and now we can do a proper rock crawl. I don't think we want to go too much higher than this for rock crawling. Um, maybe we should give it a just slightly, slightly wider stance. We're gonna give it the ever so slightly wider stance, just real quick. Um, boom, 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 boom. We'll do 0.97 and 0.97. So. Once again, just giving ourselves a tiny bit more additional stability there by making the wheelbase a little wider on the sides. Alright boys, here we go, here we go. Let's crawl up onto this first one, then we're gonna crawl up onto the second, and then you can see a third line of rocks in the distance. So, let's see how our lifted Lambo does here for a lifted rock crawl. Oh, 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 jeez. It's a little slidey on those rocks. You can tell that, uh... You know, it wasn't made to do this in the way that the suspension interacts with the rocks. But what the good thing is, is that, listen, you don't hear any scraping. There's no scraping sound effect. There there was. But for the most part, the only sound I hear is rubber on rocks, which is a really good thing. And essentially the point of this mod uh, prevents you from bottoming out. Gives you, you know, that extra lift you need to traverse across the countryside. Uh... <laughs> Make the tires really wide. Well, once again, we're not actually making the tires wider. I'll, I'll exaggerate the tire width here in a second. If you want to see how wide the tires can go, uh, I'll show you. But once again, you're not making the tires themselves wider. You're just setting them farther apart. So the tires themselves remain the same width, but their distance from the vehicle extends out further. Um, a little bit of trouble there going over that rock. A little bit of trouble. Again, high center of gravity killing us. Let's try to crawl back up onto this. Ah, uh, oh, just can't hit it at a good line. Like, I try to adjust it and control it, but admittedly, this thing's really slidey. It's really slidey. Ooh. Again, though, minimal scraping sound effects. Alright, let's go over to the third line of rocks here. Can we get a, a nice cinematic view here? Oh, yeah! Oh, there we go, baby! Oh, no! No, get out of the water! The lift might save us. Oh, and the lift actually does save us. Makes it so we can actually drive in some water that would usually flood the engine. Yet another purpose of having such a ridiculous lift on a vehicle like this. Uh, yo, Waylon, thanks for dropping that like down below, my dude. Uh, so you put a stretch, a lift and a stretch on it. Uh, no stretch. No stretch. Um, it is just a lifted Lambo right now. You should do a tire's width mod. 
I totally agree, dude, but I don't know. Do they make that? Do they make that mod? Alright, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Time to show you the insanity of a super, super, super wide tire base. Uh, yo, Onyx Legion! What is up, Onyx? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Glad to see you here. Anyone here from the old Twitch days? Oh, let, let us never forget the old Twitch days. Alright, so here we go, guys. Let's make these tires super stupid wide, alright? You ready for some stupid wide stance here? Like, so impractically wide? Well, here we go. Let's not do the height. Oops. Okay. With how wide can we go? How wide can we go? Oh my goodness. Oh! Weird! Okay, so once you get far enough out, look what actually happens here. Once you take the number high enough, it actually starts to invert itself, and the tires go inside out. Alright, so we'll go the farthest that we can with it facing out the right way, which appears to be right there. Uh, well, let's do the same in the back. Rear width. We'll take it all the way up to 2.0. This is absolutely insane. Like, at this point, why are we even doing this? The answer is because we can. Now, if you want to know what's coming next in the stream, uh, in a couple minutes, we're going to pull these tires back in, lower our lift a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is kind of sweet. It's kind of weird, extremely unrealistic, but kind of freaking awesome. I don't know what it is about this, but I kind of love it. <laughs> it looks legit. It looks legit. Oh, I almost hit the lifeguard. That was close. Like, I wish we could put some kind of, um, ooh. I wish we could put something on it that actually makes the tires look, you know, essentially attached. But unfortunately, they're just floating in midair. Uh, <laughs> What do you guys think here? What do you guys think? Yes, it is. It's a little ugly, but I mean, what do you expect? The wheels are floating four feet away from the vehicle, you know? All right, let's try one more quick rock crawl here and see how much better it performs. Oh my goodness, boys. This is where we just crawl over these things with, like, zero trouble whatsoever. We've got a wide enough stance to where uh, it doesn't want to turn over on us. It's extremely stable, and even with that lift, still maintains that stability all the way through. <laughs> Where's the axle? Yo, Crankin, that is a great question, dude. There, there needs not to be an axle, apparently. All right, we'll do we'll do one more pass here on the rocks, and then as you guys wanted to see, we're gonna be taking it to the swamp for some intense mudding and a bit more of a realistic lift. Not so much of this absolute jank. I don't even know what to call this. I don't even know what to call this. Put long travel suspension with the king shocks on it. Oh no! Ah! All right, so we flooded the engine. Just to make there's make sure there's no sort of game glitching, I'm gonna straight up delete this thing out of the water. Delete. There we go. There we go. All right, back to Franklin. Uh, since when can you do long travel suspension and king shocks? Are these mods that I don't know about or something? Like I know that you can edit the the suspension travel in a file of a vehicle, but is there just like a simple mod that allows me to do it real time? All right, so here's what's up, guys. Here's what's up. We're gonna spawn in the uh, what's it called? LP 700, the Aventador here. All right, so here's what's up, boys. Let's go over to the swamp now. A little bit of classic swamp riding, and uh, we're gonna get this thing started. We are gonna get this thing started. So, player, teleport to the marker. Let's turn off that radio. And uh, once again, like we did at the beginning of the stream, let's show you guys what this thing looks like uh, stock. Let's show you what it looks like stock. So here in the mud, without any kind of lift, let's see just how submerged it gets. I wish GTA 5 had some deeper mud, but wow, okay. So you can see that it is fairly deep mud. The tires are at least half consumed, and most of the, uh, the bottom of the vehicle completely submerged. And you can definitely feel it on the handling. It's probably a little harder for you guys to tell watching it, but accelerating, I can definitely tell that there's a little bit of uh, added resistance from that mud. Oh, one quick thing that I want to say while it is on my mind, guys. Um, I'm going to be downloading a mud mod that makes mud in GTA 5 more realistic. It's going to thicken this mud. It makes it so vehicles actually get stuck. And then the other mod that I'm going to be installing is a winch mod. So just like we do in spin tires, we're going to have thick, realistic mud in GTA 5. And we're going to have a winch mod to winch out vehicles when they get stuck. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. But, uh, all right, so here we are in stock Lambo. Time to get it lifted up. Time to get it lifted up. 
So let's open up this mod menu here, suspension menu, and um, we'll do the width first. Let's make it just a little wider first, and then we'll do the lift. So let's do 0.96 again. You can see it's not a huge difference. It's just kind of giving it that wide body stance like you see on some supercars or some car mods in GTA 5. Um, let's make the back wider. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so then the front. Here we go. Uh, front height. What do you guys think? What kind of lift do you guys think we should do for like a uh, a standard a, a standard off-road Lambo? That's like an oxymoron. There's no such thing as a standard lifted Lambo, is there? I don't think that exists. It does now. It does now that we made it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We've got a little bit of tire glitch action going, but I don't think it should continue. Let me get out of this mud here. Ooh, those back tires are freaking out a little bit. All right, so what do you guys think? Do we do we want a little bit more of a lift on this? Let me know in the chat. Either say higher, lower, or same, or whatever. While you guys send your answers through, um, Gitchy, do you know what King Shocks are? No, I'll write it down and I'll Google search it after this because based on what you're saying, it sounds like it could be a mod that would help me. Hopefully, potentially, and I hope that's what it is. Um, all right, so real quick then, let's go ahead and slap the off-road tires on this thing. Vehicle, mod menu, wheels, wheel type, off-road, and all right, here we go, boys, here we go. I don't know what looks best on here. Maybe those don't look too bad. Those don't look too bad. All right, let's, yeah, let's do a little bit higher. This is a, a lift mod after all. Let's, um, oh, the width again, oops. All right, we'll do, um, higher, higher, higher. All right, all right, let's do, let's see if we can make .95 work again. This is, I'd say this is reasonably high, guys. This is close to a one-foot lift on an Aventador, all right? So let's roll with this for a little while. Once again, guys, I'll keep saying all stream long. I would love to make the tires bigger. Ball is for life, dude. I want to make the tires bigger. I really do. But, uh... <laughs> Yo, Onyx, you made me chuckle, man. <laughs> um, well, let's roll with this for a little bit and see how it does. And then, uh, if it needs a little bit more help, we could raise it up a little bit more. Why does this thing look like such a beast in the swamp? Like, oh my goodness. I didn't think that a Lambo could look so mean lifted with off-road tires on it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, it actually looks kind of good. I guess that's what I'm saying. Some of you guys probably hate it and you're like, oh my goodness, how could you ruin a car like that? You know what? I'm okay with it. You know, I think, I think it's, uh, I think it's all right. Dab on them haters. <clears throat> How's that for a dab? I got your dab right there. I almost hit myself in the face. Thankfully I didn't. I probably would have hurt. Um, do the ramp by the airport. We could definitely hit that ramp up if we remember. All right, so let's uh, let's see how we got across this water because we do have an extra foot that would usually probably kind of submerge us here. Um, one thing that I'm still noticing here: get out, get out, get out, get out! No, no, no! Go, 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 go! Ah, thankfully it is nice and quick to spawn this thing back in. Uh, thankfully, it's nice and easy. Maybe we need to lift it up just a little higher, though. Guys, once again, we cannot make tires bigger. We can we can widen the stance of them, but we cannot make the tires bigger. I wish we could. Trust me, I really, really, really wish we could. Did we get the, a yellow one this time? Nice. All right, this looks pretty sick. Okay, so quickly, let's we'll lift this one fast. This time we're not going to beat around the bush here. Front height, let's take it up to an even 1.0. An even 1.0. Uh, rear height, same in the back. There we have it. Let's make sure that we're not going to be glitching, though. You can see that there's a little bit of shakiness going on in the back there. And, uh, all right, you guys said to make them a little wider. Yeah, let's widen that stance a little bit. All right, we're gonna exaggerate the wide stance this time. We're gonna put it on like 1.07. So this is a super wide stance here. Uh, really just fitting it for that off-roading. 1.07 in front. Okay, and super quick, once again, mod menu, tires, off-road. There we go, off-road tires, and bam ba -lam, there you have it. Small cat fan, what? Small cat fan, and your picture, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you realize this, small cat fan, 
but your profile picture is a picture of pickles, dude. <laughs> like, maybe you already knew that and maybe it was intentional. I just wanted to make sure that you know that that's not Small Cat. I love your name and I love your picture, but your name is Small Cat Fan and your picture is Pickles, which is okay by me. Just making sure you realize that. Um, ooh, yeah, we're not able to drive over that that uh, that car just yet. Uh, yo, Joey, shout out to you, dude. Thanks for tuning in to the stream. Guys, I just realized we have not done a like spike all stream long. What is wrong with me? Why would we not do it sooner? Why don't we go ahead and get the juiciest like spike going ever? And here's why it should be extra juicy. Today is the first day that I've ever streamed in 1080p. So if you notice that I look like more clear than usual, and you know, things are just looking better, it's because we're finally streaming in 1080p. And also, for the sake of a lifted Aventador, let's just get this like spike going, boys. Let's get it going. Let's do it. Three, two, one, like spike. Ugh. Drop those likes down below. Tell me in the chat that you did. I'm going to be shouting out as many of you guys as I can who drop a like. Yo, small cat fan, no worries, dude. <laughs> I didn't mean to ruin your thing, man. You probably were all excited to make that your name, your picture, and then I called you out and told you that you were wrong. No, don't worry about it, man. Uh, there's a, Is there a picture of small cat on my Instagram? If I don't have small cat on my Instagram, I'm going to need to... Uh, Definitely gonna need to get a picture of Small Cat on my Instagram, because that's not fair to do to Little Small. Sometimes I call her Little Small, which is kind of a funny name, because, like, you know, you call her Small for short. You don't always call her Small Cat. Sometimes you just say, oh, how's it going, Small? But then sometimes you're like, oh, how's it going, Little Small? <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous, because you're calling her Little Small. Like, how much more redundant can it get? <laughs> which is also why it's a hilarious name and why I love it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for dropping those likes down below. Let's get these shoutouts rolling here. Uh, first shoutouts going out to uh, BoJ or BJ, Bryce, Carson, Bethany, Donnie, Mr. B. I gotta make sure we don't roll over here. High center of gravity, as usual, at an angle. Uh, a few more shoutouts going out to Gavin, Jordan, Aiden, Jeep Guy. Welcome back to another stream, Jeep Guy. No, 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 no. No! I know what I should have done, and I'm just going to do it now because I should have done it a long time ago. I know what I need to do here. Let me do some shout-outs while I swim to shore. <laughs> also, awesome, Noah, LB, uh, Giovanni, Elizabeth, thank you guys so much for dropping those likes, King Yeti, uh, Terminator, Crazy German, Taurus, The Vicious, Wade, Diego, Renzi White, welcome back, Renzi, John Yell, welcome back, King Savage, welcome back. A lot of names here I, I remember. I don't always tell you if I remember you, you know? But uh, most of the names here, I'd say at least half of the names here, are people who've been in my streams before. So welcome back to all the returning subs, and welcome to all the new people who've never been in my, uh, my stream before. Hope you guys are enjoying. All right, here's what we're going to do, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's spawn in a Lambo. Now, before we go any further, I'm gonna turn on speed boost, so this way if we go in water that's too deep, I'm going to speed boost, us, speed boost us out before it has a chance to uh, flood the engine. I'm not going to use speed boost to cheat and like hill climb and stuff like that. Speed boost will res be reserved exclusively for um, you know when we are in some deep water. Alright, so real quick, once again, ooh, you can also make the wheel stands really small. It's like, why would you want to do that? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it has its place, depending on what you're doing. Okay, so here we go. 1.07 stands. Let's do this as quickly as possible. Hopefully this this is the last time that we need to do this. Now that we have speed boost on. Front height. Let's get it popping, boys. What were we at last time? I don't remember. Let's try for a 1.2 lift. It's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. It really, really is. Okay, 1.2 and back. It might glitch too much. We might have to lower it down, but let's see if it can handle it. Here it is at 1.2. Doesn't seem to be loving it. Doesn't seem to be loving it. Let's get it to the road real quick. <laughs> you can see on the road, oh my goodness, it wants to turn over so easily. <laughs> this thing's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Okay, okay. Let me slap some off-road tires on this thing. Uh, wheels, wheel type, off-road, okay, so here we go, boys, let's see if we can get away with a 1.2, let's see, yo, Redneck Gypsy, thank you for tuning in to the stream, dude, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, thank you for the kind words, my man, 
Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Right here, right now. Thank you for dropping that like, dude. Yo, Tim, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome. And also, Adrian Oloza, Olasa, welcome to the family to you as well. Thank you for subbing. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the support. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to try to cross the water here. I hope our lift is high enough. I hope I don't hit a rock underwater. Yeah, okay, there we go. Lifted Lambo. Getting it done now. And for those of you just tuning in, I'm going to repeat it again since I've been repeating it all stream. I would love to make these tires bigger because tires this small look kind of ridiculous. Like, I'll admit that. These tires look totally ridiculous being so small. Unfortunately, I don't know of any way to make them bigger. If you guys know of any ways, let me know if there's some mod I can download. But I was doing a lot of research and I couldn't find any mod that can just straight up make your tires bigger. Okay. Get up out of that water. Good, good. Some of that good, good. You said my name wrong. Renzi. How, how could I mispronounce Renzi? It's R-E-N-Z-E-E. -E. How else can you say Renzi? <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Yo, cool man, Laz. I'm doing great, dude. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Terminator Beast, thanks for subbing. Glad you swung by, dude. Justin Abadila. Uh, thanks for subbing, dude. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Brap, see ya. Welcome to the stream, Mr. Brap. Welcome, welcome. After this, guys, we are going to be doing a Mount Chiliad climb here with this uh, this lifted Lambo. So far, it's doing really well. I'm honestly super surprised at just how well it's doing. Uh, the biggest issue probably being its stability. Um, ooh, that's that's deep. That's deep. Can we drive upstream at all? Ooh, I forgot. That's not really a stream. That's more of a creek slash runoff ditch. You know. Um, yo, Diego, thanks for something, dude. Welcome to the family. Gitchy King Off-Road Shocks. I don't think there is a mod for that. Then I don't think that's going to do me any good, uh, Mr. Gennaro. But thank you, dude, for suggesting it regardless. I appreciate you looking out. Um, guys, here's a question. Here's a question I've got for you. As you guys know, this mod can lift vehicles, but it can also lower vehicles. Um, real quick before I miss these, Sujal Vlogs and Ethan Dukes and Ball is for Life, all three of you just subbed, and Rio, thanks for subbing as well, dude. Lots of new subs rolling in today, guys. Thank you so much for, uh, tapping that sub button. Thank you for being here. Okay, here's what I was gonna say, though. As you guys know, this mod can lift vehicles, but it can also lower vehicles and also stance them. And by stancing them, I mean you lean the tires inward, and that's referred to as camber. And you might know that some you might notice that some really low cars that you've seen have some uh, some negative camber going on. Uh, so my question to you is, what vehicle would you like us to lower slash camber the next time I use this mod? Let me know. You know, it could be a ridiculous vehicle. It could be a semi truck. It could be a dump truck. But it could also be like a Miata, it could be a Honda Civic, it could be um, a Toyota Supra, or I don't know, what's something that you'd lower in camber? Usually it's those types of streetcars. But we could also lower and camber a lawnmower, you know? The, the freedom is in our hands. The choice is up to us. So let me know in the chat here what you'd uh, maybe like to see. Gitchy, sorry I missed some. Also, what did I miss? Yo, random redneck, no problem, dude. Uh, you just missed a little bit of mudding, a little bit of rock crawling, and now we're uh, about to go up Mount Chiliad. The usual, dude. You know how it be. You know how it be. Yo, small cat fan, thank you for dropping that like down below. You guys are saying for the next stream we should lower and stance a big rig. Uh, what else? Nuke, thanks for dropping that like, dude. Um, that country vlogger, thanks for stopping, dude. Welcome to the family, my man. Ooh, the Sand King. The Sand King's not a bad idea. What do you guys think of, like, lowering and stancing, like, a Dodge Ram 3500 or something? That might be actually fun. Ooh, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure that if we lift this thing up high enough, it should be able to do wheelies. Should we? We might have to test that out, but I'm pretty sure if I give it a little bit more height, it should be able to do a wheelie upon acceleration. Um, you know, real quick before Mount Chiliad, why don't we go ahead and test that out? I know there's a little off-topic here. Uh, ooh, a four-wheeler. A lowered, cambered four-wheeler. That might be cool. All right, all right. I'll, I've got some ideas. Golf cart, that could be a good one, too. All right, so here's what we're, we're, uh, we're going to do, boys. We're going to go never wanted on, and we're going to go also going to do it in this trainer to be safe. Never wanted on. Now we're going to teleport to the airport, 
And I want to test something before we do Mount Chiliad. We're gonna we're gonna go up the mountain here in a second. But before we do that, what I'd like to do is see if we can turn this thing into a wheelie machine, because this mod really lets you do a lot of cool things uh, with the physics engine in this game. So as of right now, you can see that we don't quite get a wheelie. We don't quite get that wheelie. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's uh, let's raise it up a little bit more. Let's try a 1.4. This is getting insane. This is getting so, so high. Oh, jeez. Okay, so this is the part that you need to look out for. Eventually, the tires do start to glitch out. Oh! Oh, baby! Ah, oh, the dream! The dream! Yeah! <laughs> oh, if I reverse, is it going to slam down? Yeah! Oh, my gosh. This thing. Can I hold a wheelie? Ah, uh, I didn't get the front end up that time. Let's try another one here. Ooh, endo! We got that endo action going. Oh, boys, boys, boys. This is madness. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's get that endo going. Get ready for the endo. Here we go. Endo! The front end won't come down. It's literally stuck in the air right now. I cannot... I cannot bring it down. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, let's try an endo real quick. Uh, I needed to give it a little bit more there. Let's try a second time. Ah, let me try one more. One more, one more. Dang it. I didn't want to get stuck. For some reason, I can't bring it down once it gets in that position. Like, it looks sweet. I mean, this is probably one of the most epic things I've ever done in GTA V. But, I want to get that endo action. Eh. Stop. Stop rolling. It won't stop. It won't come down. Oh, my goodness. This is ridiculous. Okay. Finally, we are at a stop. So, now it can come down. Okay. Just give me one good endo. That's all I want. A. A. Oh, I shouldn't have let off the brake. Let me try one last time. Just holding the brake, seeing what happens. Okay. All right. So there you guys go. That gives you some idea of just the craziness of this mod and what exactly it empowers you to be able to do. <laughs> Alright, so guys, what do you think? Should we get back to Mount Chiliad now? Do a little bit of uh, off-roading? Do a big endo. That's what I wanted to do, Josh. That's what I was going for, but apparently it kind of limits just how big of an endo you can do. Ooh, there we go. Speed boost mod. <laughs> Alright, so back to Mount Chiliad we go. Back to Mount Chiliad we go. Let's let this thing land first. Good thing we didn't explode it. Good thing. Okay. Okay, boys, okay. We're gonna fix this bad boy. We're gonna lower it down just a tiny bit. You know, this was mainly for wheeling. I think if we try to drive it off-road like this, it'll be insane. Let's just drop it down to 1.3, so we're still really tall. <laughs> this thing's still super lifted, just not quite as much here. And before we leave, let's see, can you still do wheelie at 1.3, or is like 1.4 that sweet spot? Let's find out real quick before we leave. Let's try for a wheelie. Ooh! Oh! Oh! We might have found the sweet spot, boys! Oh! Dang it! We're stuck back again. Uh, uh, what if I... Can I do that? Nice. Okay, that works. That was a good wheelie. Now I don't want to quit. Now I don't want to quit. Let me try one more pass. Uh, ooh. It's hard because you actually need to pulse the, the trigger. You know, if you just floor it, it's not going to work out. So, like a real... Thing that you're trying to wheelie. Oh, ha, 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 boys, I can't believe it. That was like a 300 foot wheelie. I don't even know. That was beautiful. That was like. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. I love this mod. I love this mod. Okay. We are officially done 
at the airport. Officially done. We're going to go over to Mount Chiliad real quick. Because we have not done a Chiliad climb yet uh, with this lift. So where do we go for that? We need... What road do we go to? I think... Uh, I don't know. Somewhere over here. We'll just go here. Doesn't need to be perfect. Doesn't need to be exact. Yeah, that was amazing. That was an amazing wheelie. I'm glad you guys appreciated that as much as I did. Alright, is that Mount Chiliad? Yes, it is. Uh, Alright, so once again, guys, to those of you just tuning in, watching for the first time, you've never been here before, please subscribe down below if you are enjoying the stream, or simply enjoying my face. Can you lift bikes just in great question? Unfortunately, you cannot. That was one thing that, it was like one of the first things I tested when I downloaded this mod. And I was disappointed to see that you can't lift bikes, but you can lift lawnmowers, you can lift golf carts, you can lift semis, you can really lift just about any uh, four-wheeled four -wheeled vehicle in the game. Or even eight-wheeled, doesn't matter. Do a setup tour. Good idea, small cat fan. I've been meaning to do a setup video for like three years now. Um, <laughs> trying, dude. I think I'm gonna... I'm a, I'm gonna buy a GoPro here really soon, and I think once I have a GoPro, it'll be much easier to film things and not have to bust out an actual camcorder. Um, and GoPros will allow me to film some more real-life things, maybe some disc golf, some four-wheeling, stuff like that. Uh, yo, Caden Gibson, thanks for subbing, dude. Thank you for subbing, and welcome to the family, Caden. Uh, thanks for letting me know, dude. Ooh! Ooh, okay, so this is gonna be an actual challenge here, maybe. Um... Let's see if we can get up this part here. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is getting worse by the second, boys. Worse by the second. Oh, oh, this poor guy. Oh, this poor guy. I can't even flip this thing over. What the heck? Okay, maybe I need to respect it a little bit more. Maybe, uh, maybe we need to go a little bit slower. Yo, Aiden Cook, thank you so much for stopping, dude. Welcome to the family, Aiden. Okay, vehicle fix. Oscar Ramos, Squish Jr., the boss, Diego Diaz. Uh, shout out to you guys for stopping. Welcome to the family. All right, so here we go. It seems like it wants to flip back really easily. So I'm going to try to just go kind of slow and controlled here initially. I think if I, if I steer it off this... Uh, off this trail, we're done. Because I think it'll just immediately roll on its side, basically. Oh, 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 wheelie action. We do not want the wheelie. Contrary to popular belief, this is one time that we do not want to be sent into a wheelie. <sighs> Stay down. That front end, though. That front end just lifting up. Lifting up. Nerf War Channel, thanks for something, dude. Welcome to the family, my man. Brands 202077, welcome to the stream, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. No! Oh, back up, back up, back up. Do not go off the side. Not what you want. Not what you want. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if I can save this one, guys. Yep, no. We're going down the, uh, down the cliff here. I think I might need to lower this thing a little bit, guys. I mean, I know we want a super lift on it, but it's getting to the point where the lift, instead of being helpful, is actually making this a lot harder. So, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. This is like an extreme... Ooh, dropped my controller. Oh, now I really dropped it. Oh, now I really dropped it. There was like an initial drop, and then it fell and hit the floor, and then it came unplugged, and then it really fell. And it like fell on the metal leg of my chair. Not... Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Okay. Do a Hellcat? Oh my gosh, that would be sweet. Okay, here we go. Let's lower it down just a little bit. I like the lift this high, but it makes it super, super hard to drive. So we're going to bring it down to 1.15. I think this is going to solve a lot of our problems. It might not seem like a big difference, but it doesn't take much to... Uh, yeah, this, this already feels better. This already feels way better. It's still super lifted, but I have a lot more control. Uh, it doesn't tip back nearly as easily. We can turn a lot better. And we probably would have rolled over there had we not lowered it. So, thankfully, lowering is coming in handy. Michael, Tyler, guys, thanks for stopping. Welcome to the family. Thank you guys for tuning in here today. Uh, Yala YOLO, welcome to the stream. 
I'm seeing lots of new faces here. Lots of new names, rather. Uh, Random Redneck, I'll see you later, dude. Thanks for swinging by the stream today. My favorite GTA YouTuber so far. Yo, Ball is Life, my man. I'm just gonna call you Ball is Life. I know your name is Ball is for Life, but... If you don't mind, I'll just call you Ball is Life. Um, thank you, dude. That's Those are some super kind words right there. And I, I appreciate the heck out of that, actually. Uh... Yeah, my day's going great. We will not be going to North Yankton, though, today. I do not have a North Yankton mod installed, so, uh, unfortunately, no North Yankton today. Uh, Kevin, thanks for dropping that like down below. I see you guys asking for another like spike here. Thomas and Yo, what's up, dog? And also, Joetta Bright. Thank you guys for subbing, all three of you. Welcome to the family. Alright, alright. Let's see this. Oh, 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 back up, back up. Getting off track a little bit. Let's try this again. Ooh, ooh, okay, took that a little fast. Let's try doing it with a little bit more control. I wanna hit that one more time. Please no, oh. I thought we were gonna go barreling down the mountain. I was just like, no, I'm too young for this, man. All right, let's try one more time here, just nice and slow, nice and controlled. I'm running over my bumper, which does not help here. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think you can do it slow and controlled. I don't think you can. I think it's gotta be just like a quick little pop over that thing. Oh my gosh, come on now. Lift a cop car. Yeah, I was thinking that we should do an LSPDFR episode in which we lift a cop car and do like some off-road patrolling. I think that'd be really sweet. Um, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Make a tank higher. Jordan, I did test the tank, and yes, it does allow you to lift the tank. Ooh, lots are rolling over here now. Um, the tank isn't quite as cool as you would think. It, it's a little janky in how it works, but it's not bad. Lift the dubsta, Thomas. Good idea, dude. 6x6 six six would be sweet. Are you still doing LSPDFR? AJ, yes, I am. I just downloaded a bunch of mods to make LSPDFR a lot better, but I've probably only downloaded about one-third of all the mods that I need for it. So here's the plan right now. Um, I'm planning to do... LSPDFR Friday. At the end of the week, we'll do LSPDFR. And um, if you saw it last week, like I said, I've got a lot more mods to make it a lot more realistic now. Um, I have an arrest manager, which makes, like, it just adds so many features. I don't want to give all, all the info away, but it's, it's going to be good. Lift a plane. Yo, Justin, that's, I don't know if we can do that. That's uh, an interesting thought there. Lift a modded pickup truck. Yeah, dude. Like, lifting a, um... Like, download a Ram 1500 or, like, a Ford Raptor, lift it up. That could be good. That could be good. Lift a Corvette, a Hellcat. Yo, Tyler Butler, thanks for dropping the like down below. Uh, ooh, someone just said they were new here, but it unfortunately scrolled away before I could read it. Uh, David Rodrigo, thank you for the kind words, my man. A Gennaro, you said you did your black belt test and you passed. Yo, congrats, man. You got your black belt. Congrats to you, Gennaro. Proud of you, dude. Uh, Clyde Smith, I miss so much. I hope you remember me. Clyde, I feel like your name does ring some kind of bell. It doesn't, like, stand out super bright, but Clyde definitely seems familiar. Uh, regardless, dude, welcome back to the stream. Glad to have you back here, man. When's more spin tires? I was thinking of doing spin tires tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, Spin Tires, GTA Wednesday, maybe Spin Tires Thursday, and then LSPDFR Friday. I'm trying to plan my week a little better now, instead of having zero idea what I'm going to do tomorrow. I think, I think all this will be a lot easier to me if I have at least somewhat of a plan and I know what the video is going to be. Rather than waking up, like, having no idea. Oh, no! Ugh. Jeez. Oh, are we on fire? We're on fire, boys! Oh, jeez! We, we are we are on fire. F4. Vehicle. Fix. I'm not looking to, uh, to die that quickly. What time is it at your house? Uh, here at my house in Ohio, it is 6.14. Uh, I'm stuck upside down. Guys, let me know in the chat, what time is it where you guys are watching the stream from? 6.15 at my house. Let me know in the chat what, uh, what time it is where you guys are. This is horrible. This is horrible. I can literally not stop sliding down this mountain. This is terrible. 
lower the monster dump truck. I wonder... Let's try something... <laughs> stream for 10 years straight. Yo, the 24-7 10 year live stream. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Clyde, you said you don't usually make it. Okay, I'm teleporting. I cannot handle sliding down this mountain anymore. Ugh! That was ridiculous. That was infuriating. <laughs> By the end of that, I just, like, I snapped. I'd had enough. Okay, teleport. Okay. So you guys are asking a lot about the monster truck, and I'm just as curious as you guys, because I haven't actually tested the monster truck here. So, why don't we, uh... Let's do a quick intermission here. Not really an intermission, but, um... Here's what we're gonna do. Let's spawn in the monster truck and see if we can lift it slash lower it. I hope we can. Like I said, I have not tested it yet, so I don't really know if it's gonna work or not. I think it should. I have a feeling it should work. Is it just called the monster? Okay. Um... Alright, so this is the liberator, of course. And... Suspension menu. Please work. Please work. Oh yeah! Oh boy, dude, let's lower the monster truck because we can. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> that is sweet! This thing actually turns really well now. I mean, I don't know what the point of it is because you can't really run anything over now. <laughs> Like, if you try to run anything over, your your car is basically just going to hit it now. So yes, you can lower the monster truck. Can we give it some of that negative camber? We'll see how that looks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, but let's lift it up, though. I, I personally don't really want to lower the monster truck. I mean, I do, clearly, because I did. Ooh. It actually drives a little differently with the camber. That's that's interesting. Ooh, I just got a really good idea, guys. If my mind doesn't mistake me, I think we should be able to make a tricycle monster truck. So, bear with me here. You guys are saying where you're from. It's 324, 317, 1117. Uh, looks like most of you guys are in the United States. A few Europeans watching, too. Alright, so here's what we're going to do, boys. Let's reset this camber. Let's reset the camber. And now, we are going to lift the monster truck higher than it has ever been lifted before. Alright, time for that back end to catch up. 1.44... Oh, 1.77. I was going to say, why does that not look right? Okay, so here's the taller version of the monster truck. We've never seen the monster truck this tall. And now, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to make a tricycle monster truck with this mod. Let's see if it lets us. We gotta take the front track with and essentially set it as low as possible. Oh! Boys, we did it! We've got a tricycle monster truck I can't believe it this is absolutely ridiculous this these types of things should not even be possible oh my gosh this is insane ooh careful now careful now oh it might need to be a little bit more spread out you can see the wheel does some wacky stuff though as we turn the wheel gets really wacky it gets super wacky Here's what, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Let's try to edit this a little bit. This is cool and it has potential, but right now it's a little finicky. Um, let's make the track width a tiny bit wider. It doesn't need to be quite that thin. It could have, like, a fat front tire, and then... Or maybe not. Let me, let me see. Let me test that with it wider. Widening it might actually worsen it. Ugh, ugh. Fix yourself, fix yourself. Come on. All right, let's try one more turn here with it being a little wider. Okay, topples over very easily with it a little wider. Now let me try making it a little thinner in front. I don't, I don't know what happens, but somewhere in here, the wheel goes straight up, like, upside down for some reason. 
It looks like that's about the best it could be. Rear width. Um, there we go. And now, hold on. Here's what else we're uh, what we're gonna do. Front height. We're gonna lower down the front a little bit and raise up the back. This is sweet. How? Oh no! That's the funny thing about this mod is once you go too high. Kind of like how once you go too wide, they like flip inside out. Once you go too high, they they do what they just did. So, <laughs> oops. No, no, no radio. What the heck? Okay. Let's make the front a little higher. It didn't need to be quite that low. Okay, let's give it a test out now. We've got the tricycle monster truck. Oh, buddy. Oh, it wants to work. It wants to work, you can see, but when we turn, that front tire just, like, bows underneath the, uh, the weight. Bows underneath that tension on it, and just turns on its side. Uh, alright. So the, the monster trike's a cool idea, but let's, let's get rid of the monster trike. Let's get rid of the monster trike. And why don't we just do the tallest monster truck that it allows. So we're gonna do front height 2.0. Oops! <laughs> front height 2.0, rear height also 2.0. So this is officially the tallest that you can make the monster truck. Oh my gosh, and it is like... Oh, and you can wheelie it easier than ever too! Except here's the problem with the wheelies. They're hard to, uh, to come out of. This is nice, though, because usually you couldn't regularly wheelie a monster truck. With this mod, you might actually be able to. Let's see here. Ooh, can we drive over, like, a semi or something? Oh, my goodness. Not horrible. Not great. Let me just try running over some cars. That's, that's all I really want to do here. Yeah. As if the monster truck weren't enough of a beast before. <laughs> Lift an insurgent, good idea, very good idea. Maybe, I don't know, maybe for this type of video, rather than streaming these, I should have a series in which I do like 10 minute videos, and I pick a vehicle to lift. Or maybe you guys still prefer the stream, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Um, let me know, what else, uh, is there anything else we want to check out real quick? What time is it? IRL, 623. Um... Let's see how time how long it wheelies. Uh, I can't really get this one to wheelie actually for some reason. Uh, the wheels don't get super long on this one either. They can get fairly wide, but nothing uh, nothing too crazy. Pretty wide though still. Lift a bike. I don't think you're able to lift a bike unfortunately. Ooh, rock crawling. Yes. I bet this thing can crawl like a beast. Like a straight up beast. Lift a Chevy Silverado. Alright, alright. So, you guys gave me a lot of good ideas today, and I'm glad I asked you, you know, what you guys think I should, uh, what I should lift next. Um, lift a Sand King. Why don't we try, like, lowering a Sand King? Real quick for the heck of it, let's try something funny. Let's try lowering and, like, cambering a Sand King. Just super quick. Vehicle spawning, Sand King XL. Or maybe it's just Sand King. Okay, apparently it's just Sand King. Let's turn off that radio. And the first thing we're going to do is let's put some, uh, some low rider tires on it so that it actually looks right when we're done here. So let's move that view in a little bit. And real quick, uh, options, where do you go for that? Menu, wheel type, low rider, I think might be what we want. Or maybe high end. Oh yeah, we want those high end tires, baby. Oh, let's try something like that. And then, oh, this thing is going to be, we're, we're about to ruin a nice truck. All right, so front height, too high, much too high. Oh, oh boy. Oh buddy. Let's leave the tiniest gap. Oh crap, I was editing the width again. Okay, what is the default width? Probably 1.10. Okay, front height. 
let's make it so there's a tiny wheel gap, but hardly anything. Like, that's about the smallest gap you can get. Rear height, lower it down. Yes, okay, so now, does it still drive? It appears to still drive, so now, let's camber it up, boys. Time to stance it. Uh, front camber. Let's give it some of that. I don't know what the standard is for a camber. Usually it looks something kind of like that. 0.12. Let's try the rear camber. There's negative 0.12. We could probably lower it even more now that we've got this camber going on. You can see that our tire is no longer going to be making contact with that fender. So why don't we make it even lower? Because we can. Because we can, and that's uh, a good enough reason right there. Uh, front height. Oh, jeez! We might have gone too low. We might have gone too low. What's the lowest it can do before it, like, glitches into the ground? Oh, this is, like, kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. Like, I'm sitting here kind of making fun of it, but I also can't deny that it looks super legit. Uh, let's change the color of it real quick. Vehicle color menu, let's do something just totally out there. Something that, ooh, actually the white's kind of classy. Let's do red up top and on bottom. Let's do like a matte, uh, oh, this is going to look like garbage. This is going to look like garbage. I don't know if I want that red up top. I just want to drive it, really. Uh, we'll do that and that. That's good enough. Actually, no. I want the fender to be white. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I want a white fender. Pure white. Alright, check it out, boys. Oh my goodness. This is sweet. Like, I don't understand why Rockstar didn't put these options in the game. It took modders to be able to allow you to lift a car. Like, oh, and do we scrape now? Oh yeah, big time. Look at that scrapage. That is what you want, boys. That is what you want. I don't know, this thing actually looks pretty sweet lowered in stance, not gonna lie. I mean, it's... Uh, of course, it's meant to be an off-road vehicle, <laughs> but, uh... I don't know. It, it's pretty sweet. Yo, F-Dog, 5454545, welcome to the stream, F-Dog. What's going on, my dude? Uh, yo, Shane Ward, thanks for, uh, liking and subbing, my man. And turning on post notifications. Shane, thank you, dude, for that triple whammy. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, do an R8? Do you mean stance an R8? Or do you mean lift an R8? Um, real quick, guys, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to say. Why don't we go ahead and get... I think this will probably be the final like spike of the stream. Because we don't have too much longer to stream here. I am going to have to get this wrapped up. Um, so... Yeah, let's get the final likes back of the stream going, and while we do that, I'm going to lift it just to show you guys the opposite spectrum here, the opposite end of the spectrum. But first, drop those likes down below. Uh, I'm going to be shouting you guys out, those of you who participate, and drop a like. So, let's get it going in three, two, one, like spike! Uh, let's get it going. Let's get it going, boys. All right, so real quick, let's, uh, let's lift this guy up and see how it looks on the, as I said, the opposite end of the spectrum here. Uh, here we go. Getting taller, getting taller. Let's try 1.3 to start out. Rear height, also 1.3. It actually doesn't look that much taller. Maybe we can make it a little bit taller without it uh, glitching out here, because I think it could, I, th I think it can handle it. Ooh, look at that, like, with only the tall back end. Makes it look like some kind of drag truck or something. Uh, thank you guys so much for dropping those likes down below. We got Chris, Janice, Shane, FaZe, Jesse, All Around Gaming, Leland, Jared, Eaton, Dirt Bike Channel, Bentley, Adam, uh, Braden. Thank you guys so much for dropping those likes. Outside Life, Corey Fep, or Corey something with an F. Uh, front height, let's make it a little taller. Let's make it match the back, 1.75. And now we gotta reset that negative camber. And boom, bay, B. There you have it. Oh, this thing is so lifted. Oh my goodness. Like, this is what I call a donk. You think you've seen a donk? Ooh. Actually, wait. Donks. 
Donks might be lowered cars, aren't they? I think I was thinking of, what's, what's the word? What do they call those? Not a donk, but... I don't know, I can't think of it right now. Uh, oh my goodness, still a frickin' likes by going crazy over here. Tyler, Justin, YOLO, Adam, Drew, Z Plays, O Shorty, uh, Dustin Lelac, Christopher, uh, Small Cat Fan, YOLO, Caleb. Thank you guys so much for dropping those likes down below. Thank you so much for dropping those likes. I appreciate the heck out of the support, guys. I really, really do. Uh, Logan, Dustin, O Shorty, Darren, Adam Potter. Uh, thank you guys for dropping those likes. Kawaii Tiger, you said you also subbed and turned on post notifications. Thank you, thank you for that support. Let's see how easily we can drive through this pit with this ridiculous lift. Oh, yeah. It's like effortless. Effortless, baby. There it is. There you have it. Ooh, I love how the tires don't pop when driving over rebar, just like sticking up out of the concrete. <laughs> uh, yo, Z Plays, thank you for the kind words, dude. I, I appreciate the heck out of it. I really do. Kevin, thanks for dropping that like. Kevin Buena Ventura, welcome back, dude. I could never forget your last name. With a last name like Buena Ventura, that's literally one of the coolest last names I've ever heard. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Top heavy much. Top heavy much. I've been watching before since GTA 5 came out, and I. <laughs> and you wanted to see Trevor's dick? <laughs> Yo, Clyde, dude. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, Clyde. That was like a nice walk down memory lane there just now. That was awesome. Uh, D uh, Dairy Baker, thanks for dropping that sub. Welcome to the family. Z plays you as well. Uh, James McKenzie, thanks for subscribing, my man. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I hope, sorry if you guys are clicking on here hoping for the Lambo, because I know it did say lifting a Lamborghini Aventador, but um, I'm going to be ending the stream here soon, so I just thought I'd mess around here in a extremely lifted Sand King with some extremely nice tires on it, or some nice rims, rather. Um, Jesus Ayala, welcome to the family. Thanks for subbing, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the family, sir. Uh, you as well, Lynx HD. Lift a bus. Ooh, what would a bus look like lifted? Time out. <laughs> time out, time out. I might need to see this. I might need to lift a bus first. Um, is it just called a bus? Vehicle spawning, spawn by name. Is it just bus? It is just bus. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, why do you people give me these ideas? This is why we can't have nice things. This right here. Uh, let's go over to the airport for this one. We're going to need a little bit of room for this. Definitely going to need a little bit of space. Why is it tipping over? There we go. All right. Let's see what happens when you jack up the bus. Because why not, right? Why not? Front height. Let's get it popping. Can we get away with 2.0 on the bus? I think we might be able to get away with 2.0. And... Uh-oh, no! Is it going to do this? I don't think we're going to be able to get, get away with uh, 2.0. Or maybe we can. Okay, it's actually working. <laughs> Let's go ahead and widen the stance here. That plane better not mess us up. Uh, widening these tires for sure. Rear track width. Widen that up. Check it out, boys. We have now got a lifted bus. I love this mod. I love this mod. You can literally, like, do anything. You can lower anything, raise anything, make streetcars off-road cars, make off-road cars streetcars. Really quite nice. Uh, Adonique, welcome back to the stream. I remember you. You said it's been over a month, but I still uh, remember your name there, so thanks for coming back for another stream. Welcome back to you. Dump truck? What do you want with the dump truck? Do you want it lifted? I think I tried the dump truck the day I installed the mod, and it's not bad, but it's not great. Not bad, but it's not great. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's find out if you can do a plane... Let's find out if you can do a plane. I don't think you actually can. Yo, Tyler Crass, you uh, you drop that like and turn on post notifications. Thank you, my dude. 
Mike, Alex, thanks for subbing, my man. Uh, just a quick reminder to any of you guys who are watching for the first time, guys, subscribe down below if you're enjoying the stream. I'd love to have you back in the future. We have a lot of fun here in these streams, as you can tell. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you do happen to subscribe. I'd love to give you a personal shout-out. Um, let's get a dump truck in here. Oh, buddy. All right, so what is it that you guys wanted with the dump truck? Did you want it lowered or lifted or what? What was it? What was it? I can't change the tires on this thing, can I? I really, really, really doubt it. Vehicle options. Vehicle... There it is. Um... Okay, yeah, you can't change the tires. I didn't think you could, but I thought it was worth a try. Um, <clears throat> okay, suspension menu. Let's see here, boys. It's already pretty lifted. We can't make it much taller. You can see that its default height is 1.72. Just a reminder that the uh, it caps at 2.0. So here's the default. Here's how tall we can make it. There we go. So you can you can lift the dump truck a little bit. It doesn't do a, a huge amount of good for it, but it's definitely a little taller. And uh, oh, makes it a little bit, a lot more finicky, a lot more janky. Let's lower that down a little bit. Let's try 1.95, or maybe we should just lower it. Honestly, is that what we should do? Do we just lower it instead? Do we camber it up? Lift a VW Beetle Leland, I think that'd be sweet. That is not a bad idea. Yeah, as soon as you lift this thing, it just starts acting up immediately. Like, big time. Let's, here's what we're gonna do. Let's just screw up this dump truck really bad. What? Oh, that's also the widest it can go, I didn't realize. We can also make the dump tricycle. The dump trike. Oh yeah! Dump trike! Dump trike! I'm driving a dump trike! <laughs> uh, yo, Franklin Bates, thanks for stopping, dude. Welcome to the family, my man. Welcome, welcome. Lower- Oh, jeez! Franklin, look out! Okay, we're not gonna bother lowering it. I I'm not even gonna waste the time, because I think I tried it before, and essentially, you can lower it down, like, a foot until this- See that bolt there, that giant bolt right- there. You can lower it down like a foot and then it just starts scraping. It's really not super worth it. Um, okay, yeah, still, let's let's try a few more things here. Um, we need to find out the plane. Oh, the four-wheeler. I've tested the four-wheeler. The four-wheeler is sweet. Um, let's try out the, uh, the plane real quick. My prediction is that the plane is not going to work at all. Uh, and I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> I definitely hope I'm wrong. Let's just try a small little plane like the Cuban. Yeah, doesn't work, guys. The menu, as you can see, doesn't even come up. Menu won't even pop up. I cannot even begin to edit it one bit. In fact, the menu doesn't even come up unless you're inside of a vehicle. Like, right now, I can't bring up the menu either. You need to be inside of a four-wheeled vehicle. Uh, real quick, I'll show you guys what happens when you lift a tank. Since I see a lot of you guys saying lift a tank, I love uh, fulfilling requests here, so let's do it. Like I said, I did test the tank, but it's a little weird in the way that it lifts up. It's a little odd for sure. Um, okay, so let's see. Let me show you what I mean here. Uh, front height. Let's lift her up. Here we go. Front and lifting up. Try 1.8, rear height, also 1.8. So you can see the way that it lifts is very odd. The wheels are all kind of lifting, but look what the track does. <laughs> the track, like, awkwardly wraps around each of the tires, and, I mean, practicality-wise, I guess it's, it's a practical thing, because now we're in even a more of a tank. Uh, it's even tankier than before because it has a higher ground clearance, so in theory it should be able to go in more places. But uh, what you'll notice here is that suddenly... Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's way too top-heavy. Way too top-heavy. So why don't we widen that stance a little bit? Why don't we just widen it up just a bit? Front, track, width, 
This should be interesting. I don't think I changed the width, the width before. Uh, let's see what it does here. Oh, hard to control the camera on this thing. Okay, so weirdly... Oh, oh, what? The tracks actually crossed! <laughs> that's ridiculous. Okay, so that's, that's too wide. Let's try that. And let's see what happens when we do the rear width as well. Let's drive forward a little bit. And let's uh, edit that rear width. Ah, okay, so the rear does the final four tires, and the front only does the front one. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know, guys. This is kind of epic. It's kind of epic. Not gonna lie to you. Yeah! We can just run this thing over. So let's see how stable it is now. Put music in the background. D8, I'd love to put on music, dude, but here on YouTube, um, they take music and copyright laws a lot more seriously than Twitch. So you might be used to hearing music on Twitch streams, but here on YouTube, music is few and far between here because, uh, you know, it's, it's real easy to get your channel banned from playing copyrighted music, so... Even if I did the radio songs on GTA, the radio songs are still real-life songs that could potentially give me a copyright strike, so... You know. You know how it goes. Um, yeah. This thing actually works out pretty well lifting it. Um... <laughs> Tyler, glad you're enjoying, dude. Glad you're enjoying. Here's the thing, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one final lift, and then we're probably gonna get the stream wrapped up here, because we've actually been going for a long time here actually been going for a pretty long time compared to usual. Uh, what was I going to do? The Insurgent. Alright, so here's the stock Insurgent. Not a bad vehicle. Looks pretty good. But why don't we beef it up a little bit. Front height. Here we go. Yeah! Let's give it that uh, 1.7. Let's do 1.7 in the back as well. Let's widen up that stance a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's sweet. It is sweet. Ooh, I like how uh, soft the suspension is too. Like, as you accelerate and slow down, it's really got a lot of, like, spongy... You can almost get those front tires... Ooh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I was kind of starting to find, like, a rhythm there to, uh, wheelie it. It's almost like if you alternate between brake and, uh, gas. Oops. If you alternate between braking and the gas, you can almost get a rhythm going to get that front end up. Oh! Come on. So, slow, then brake, then floor it. Not quite. Ah, alright. Let me just lift it a tiny bit higher. Because at this point, I just want to wheelie this thing. I'm going to say 1.77 will be all we need. And this will definitely allow us to wheelie. Yeah, buddy! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, endo! Oh, alright. Gotta find that rhythm. Gotta find that rhythm. Ah, it's hard to get. It really is. You gotta, like, time it perfectly. Yeah! That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. I think I could have an entire stream dedicated to just wheeling vehicles, honestly. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Get it up there. Get it on. Uh, what are you guys saying here in the chat? Go-kart, please, please, please... Alright, alright, hold on, hold on. Is the go-kart even... Is there... I'm just gonna type in go-kart, but I don't know if it's gonna spawn in when I type go-kart. It's not a mod, is it? Go-kart. Invalid model, let's try it with a K. Yeah, if there's a go-kart, I don't know about it. Or maybe you just mean, like, a go-kart mod. Um, yeah, Toe Mater's like because of the wheelies. Glad to hear it, dude. Thanks for uh, tuning into the stream, Mater. Wyatt's Vlogs, you said you're new to the channel. Welcome, Wyatt. Glad you decided to swing by, dude. 
lift a Nissan GTR gladly, Junior. I'm going to be doing probably a lot of lift episodes in the future. Um, we'll have to do a GTR. We'll do a Corvette like people wanted to see. Unfortunately, you cannot lift bikes, Jalen. Yeah, we could lift a lawnmower, too. The lifted four-wheelers are pretty sweet. Hit the quad. The, the lifted four-wheeler is actually legit. Um, all right. Here's the final wheelie machine. We've got it at 1.88. We'll definitely... Well, let's just do 1.9. We'll definitely be able to wheelie this guy now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh oh, the grass. The grass kind of screwed us up a little bit. Let's try one more time there. In, a, in an epic camera angle. Juan Luna, thanks for subbing. Darcy Leonard, thank you for subbing. Once again, guys, if you are new to the channel, subscribe down below if you're enjoying the stream or simply enjoying my face or enjoying the mods. If you're enjoying any part of it, really, I'd love to have you back in the future. Let me... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. I'm just trying to get it right side up. There we go. Anyways, I'd love to have you back in the future. Uh, let me know if you do happen to subscribe. Let me know, let me know. Yes. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, this is such a good mod. This is such a good mod. I love it. This is so epic. Guys, I don't want to lift too many things today because I don't want to give away all the surprises, you know? Uh, uh, you know, you know what I mean? Like, if I lift every single request, there'll be nothing left to the imagination. So, I think we're probably going to draw the line about here today. Because I've been streaming for like an hour and a half, I think. Um, Yo, Justin, thank you for subbing, dude. Welcome to the family. Leland, you said you subbed earlier, I think, didn't you? Leland Blanchett. Regardless, welcome uh, to the family, Leland. Thanks for subbing, dude. And uh, that looks like it's about it for the sub. So, guys, real quick, before you all head out, let's see. Do me one final favor. Can we get this stream to 500 likes before we end it? All right, we're only 23 away. So if you haven't liked the video yet, go ahead. Please do that now. Let me know in the chat if you do. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd love to give you a shout-out if you do drop a like. But let's see if we can hit 500. And then uh, I am going to have to get going here in a couple minutes. It's almost 7 o'clock. I'm getting kind of hungry here. Ooh, I haven't eaten much today. I just realized, like, I've had a bowl of cereal all day. It's probably not good. Probably not good. I'm gonna get some food in me as soon as we, uh, wrap the stream up. Oh, endo, endo! Holy crap! Jeez. My goodness. Oh, we can't wheelie on the grass, though, because it's just a little too slick. That is awesome. <laughs> I love how you actually need to, like, get the rhythm going. You know, if you just accelerate, you, it doesn't wheelie. You actually need to brake and compress that front suspension. And see, that time it didn't work. Like, you gotta time it correctly. Compress that front suspension. Oh, jeez. Or compress the side of the vehicle and turn it over on its side. You know, whichever. Um, yo, guys, I look over and I'm seeing 504 likes. Thank you guys so much for your support today. You guys have been absolutely awesome. Uh, let me do, do just a few shout-outs here. JJ, thanks for subbing. Dominic Hilton, thanks for subbing. Uh, Anthony K, thanks for the like and the sub. Dieg, thanks for the like. Anthony, uh... Mallory, don't... I don't me out? Did you try to say don't shout me out? I don't know. Regardless, shout-out to you, Mallory. Thanks for tuning in to the stream today. Uh, so on that note, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the mod. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, personally, I think this mod is the beginning of an amazing series of videos, potentially, from lowering videos that sh or lowering vehicles that shouldn't be lowered to raising vehicles that shouldn't be raised. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Um, so thank you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you guys. I love your faces. And, uh... Uh, we got up to 520 likes today, so thank you guys so much for that support. I didn't expect to crush 500 that quickly, so... I will be live tomorrow with another video. I think tomorrow we might be playing a little bit of Spin Tires. Might do an open lobby as well. Might do, like, a, an open multiplayer lobby. Um, yo, shout out to you, Bentley. Thank you for tuning in to the stream, my man. Uh, John Shepard, thanks for subbing. Moto Mike, thanks for subbing. 
Launcher Plays, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the family, guys. Just subbing here last second before we end the stream. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, I think that l truly covers everything now. Ty Dog, thanks for subbing. Uh, Prime 5, thanks for tuning in, dude. Pauline, thanks for dropping that like. Okay, guys, for real now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going, gonna get some food. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll see you guys all tomorrow for another live stream. Thanks for hanging out with me, though, for this hour and a half today. Uh, have a good Monday, guys. Have a good night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Love you.